Hannah, I'm Fenella and welcome to my corner of the internet. Today I'm going to be talking about dating and Tinder. I often get asked by men if I have any dating advice, if I have any tips on how to get a woman like myself. I actually don't put myself out there that much, I don't date that much, I don't trust that much either, so I may not be the best person for advice right now. But I did join Tinder recently, not to find someone to date, but just to see who is single in my area. Even if I did match with somebody on Tinder, I'm probably not going to talk to them unless I've met them before in person. It's really important to me to meet someone in person, have that physical connection, really be able to see if I feel comfortable around them before talking to them anywhere online. So I set up a Tinder profile, had it on my phone and I had a good scroll, a really good scroll. I went through the whole city. <laughs> I got a good look at men's profiles and I got to learn what I preferred and what I didn't. What were the red flags and what were the green flags? So I thought I would share some of those. Let's start with the red flags. Number one, not having a verified profile. The amount of gorgeous men on Tinder that didn't have a verified profile was a little bit concerning. Are they your pictures or are you pretending? I wouldn't know because your profile isn't verified. Number two, posing with weapons, posing with guns. I get it, it's different, it feels cool, but to a woman, it could be quite frightening. It could be quite intimidating. So my advice would be to keep those pictures away from the dating profiles. Number three, having no solo photos on your profile. Which one are you? You've got to have at least one picture that clearly shows who you are and what you look like on your profile with nobody else in it. Number four, topless bathroom selfies. I know some women probably like it, but I do not. I find the whole topless bathroom thing a little bit too intimate. I feel like that's something you should save for when you're dating, when you're close, and when you're at that point where you are sharing images like that, both mutually. I'm never on Tinder for a hookup, so I don't really want to see your body. If you really want to slip in a topless picture, maybe try one on the beach. It feels less intimate and a lot more casual. And finally, let's stop at five. Having no bio. That's pretty boring. I can't tell who you are or what you're gonna be like just from your pictures. I need a little bit of information in the bio. Even if it's just looking to meet someone new, that feels a lot more welcoming than nothing. 